Hey guys, it's Jericho. Welcome to my channel. So I'm going to start doing strawberry letters. No, these are not letters sent to me. They're just letters that I found online on Facebook and stuff. I be seeing people post about it and posting being like what you think type of posts. And it just like, hmm. I'm gonna start doing some videos with some of these. Some of the posts I come across is like, whoa, seriously, this really goes on in the world? So anyway, this one I found, it says, I'm a 43 year old man and I love being a father to my two sons and two daughters and a husband to my loving wife. My wife and I have been married for 10 years now and everything has been great so far. But I, ha but I have to get this one thing off my chest because it's eating me up inside. I had an affair with my wife with her twin brother, but after he told me he loved me, he asked me to leave my wife, which is, my, is a sister for him or to him, I guess that's what they meant. And of course I told him no, I would never do that. He also said I have to tell my wife about the affair or he would do it for me. Now, I know that I was wrong for doing this to my wife, but she also was having sex with my father just three years into our marriage. And at the time I decided to stay because she got pregnant with our oldest son and didn't know who the father was. And she got a test on the baby and the baby was my father's son. And I raised her son with my father as my own. So what should I do with my crazy situation? There's so much drama in this post, I don't even know what to address first. What would anybody say about this? Like, what do you address about this? First of all, let's start with the first half. Okay, he's 43, he, his son to two sons, two daughters, been with his wife 10 years. That's awesome, that's amazing. Like, I've been with my husband for 10 years, so I can imagine being the wife, and well, she slept, she slept with his father, so that's, that's totally out of the question. Um, so the first, let's just address the first part. I had an affair with my wife with her twin brother. First of all, my I want to know does the wife have does the wife feel like her man is bisexual or gay in any type of way because I feel like you, if your husband is truly gay and he's just being with you to pretend that he's hetero, I feel like deep down in your heart you would you would kind of suspect that he might be um, maybe he's feminine in some way or he's done something that made you go like hmm Cause I feel like you can't be with somebody for that long and not see any little red flag like even the inciest of the teeniest bit of a red flag to not think that he wouldn't be bisexual or gay or whatever the case may be obviously he's bisexual but I feel like you would notice at some point and maybe I would say this, in a normal situation, maybe she just didn't want to confront him about it, and uh, maybe she just pushed it to the back of her mind. That's what I would think until I read the last part of this situation where she slept with his father the first three years of their marriage. It's like, first of all, who are these people? I want to know if this situation is real. If this situation is real, let's pray for these people for, first of all, because this is beyond anything. Like, <laughs> the first strawberry letter that I find, well, not one of the first that I found, but the first that I decided to do a video on, it's like, this situation, I don't even know what to say about this situation. So she slept with your father three years into the marriage. First of all, how old is your father? He's 43, and um, they've been married for 10 years, so when they got married, he was 33. And within those three years, his wife slept with his father. So how old is your father, is what I wanna know, okay? Like, did your father have, have you when you were like, when he was like 16 or something? Or is she really sleeping with an old, wrinkly man? Like. I don't know. I don't know what this man looks like. I don't know what, what his father looks like, but I could not see myself sleeping with a man of that age. Um, I don't. It doesn't say how old she is, but they got married. He was 33, so I'm assuming she's around the same age. She's probably around 33, and his father is probably anywhere between 50. And 70 you know like it could be any now there are some older people who are in great shape and you would never know that they were that age unless they told you but the average person is not in shape and fit and good looking like some of the little zaddies <laughs> that we see here on Facebook that we'd be like ooh because like, he'd be like 60 years old and he don't actually look 60 and that he's really in fit and in shape and has muscles and has a really nice beard and a really nice haircut these type of men don't exist <laughs> like out in the world for real for real like that is rare which is why we see it on Facebook but I don't understand how she could have done that 
and uh, the fact that she got pregnant by his dad first of all I don't know how he stayed with her because if I was a man and I found out my wife got pregnant with my dad's son so his he's basically taking care of his little brother which is really was well, half little brother which is oh my god like this situation, I, I honestly don't even know how to even begin to address advice to this man. Cause it's so much to wrap your mind around all at once. It's like, what do, what would you even say to this person? Anyway, he wants to know what he would do in this situation. Despite all the questions that I've just asked. Um, what I would say is, obviously, this marriage started off wrong. I mean, I don't know how long they've been together. I don't know anything about her for real besides the fact that she slept with his father within the first three years. Um, all I want to know is, before all of that happened, did she suspect that he might be bisexual? Um, even if she did, did she confront him about it? Um, did he confront her about it? Does she know that he's bisexual before they got married? Like, these are all questions that I need to know before I can honestly give an accurate advice. But, uh... Yeah, so I, I need to know those questions. And second, I mean those answers. And second, once she's once you found out she slept with your father and ended up pregnant by him, how did you how did you work that situation out in your mind? I wanna know how you were even able to stay in a marriage that even started out that way in the first three years. Like I know if that happened to me, say my husband slept with my mom and she got pregnant. Oh, the image, the imagery going through my mind right now. I know I would not stay in that marriage. I would completely get out of that marriage, okay? Like, I could not do it. The fact that I wouldn't talk to my mom again, I wouldn't talk to him again, we would be getting a divorce. Um, that's just what I would do in a situation. Like, I, I couldn't stay in a marriage knowing that you slept with one of my parents. Like, that. that is, like, worse than sleeping with your like him sleeping with your best friend or your sister to sleep with your mom or for her to sleep with his dad that's like an ultimate betrayal i feel like it doesn't get any worse than that because these people raised you and you would think as the parents that they would be like they would have the decency to be like no I, i'm not going to do this to my son or daughter like i'm going to tell them that you even approached me in this way and i also want to know since she slept with his father what were the circumstances? Were they having a relationship? Or did it just happen to just happen? Which I honestly don't believe, seeing that these people were together probably. I'm sure they had a relationship before they got married, obviously. So I wanna know how long was the affair going on between her and his dad? Like, that's what I wanna know. Like, this relationship just seemed like it's doomed from the beginning and so many secrets and, ugh, oh, I don't know. But anyway, so he's asking what he should do. First of all, he should just tell her. Just tell her, because I feel like at this point, what can she say when she slept with your dad and she had his kid? What can she say? Yeah, it sucks. She's found out her twin brother. She's going to find out that he's gay if she doesn't already know, which I'm sure she probably does know. And on top of that, now she's going to find out that her husband is sleeping with her twin brother. Like I said, I feel like nothing's worse than sleeping with the parents, but the fact that her husband is sleeping with her twin brother... I don't know, like I said, if I was him, I feel like I would just tell her. Because at this point, where what's the point in hiding it? You know, you found out about her and your father. You found out about the kid. So I feel like you should just tell her. At this point, like this marriage is doomed. And y'all started off with a bunch of craziness to begin with. So you just might as well go ahead and make it a little bit more crazy. And just go ahead and tell her and be honest and upfront. Let her know that you're gay or you're bisexual. Let her know that you slept with her twin brother. Let her cry. Let her do whatever she's going to do. Because this marriage, is, like I said, is all already it's already just confusing and um, I couldn't imagine being in this situation I can imagine knowing people in this situation like if I actually knew somebody who was in this situation this is what I would be telling them like first of all like I said I would have all these questions like her affair with the dad how long was that going on was it before they got married did he notice anything were they being a little too friendly at family gatherings like all these type of things I need to know so it's like I can, it's hard for me to answer this not knowing the background but obviously with a strawberry letter sometimes you don't get all the background you don't get to get all the information needed they just want a general question so I think you should just go ahead and tell her because you might as well like after everything that's happened in this marriage why not <laughs> So I, would th I think you should just go ahead and tell her, like I said, because I, I feel like what's the point in hiding it when, you know, you already found out her what she's done wrong and you got a constant reminder every day since you're raising the kid. So it's like, 
just go ahead and be honest and upfront. And at this point, if she can't handle it, then she can't handle it. Because there's so much that already happened on in this marriage that <laughs> I just don't see it surviving. And he said they had a 10 years of marriage and it has been great so far. I'm wondering why he said it's been great so far when he says three three years until the marriage she had an affair with his father. How is that great so far? I, honestly, that's not great at all. Um, I don't think I could overcome that ever. So, I don't know. What would you guys think? What would you do? What would you tell this man to do in this crazy situation? Please leave a comment below because I would like to see other viewpoints on this. I would like to see what you would tell this man, what you think, like what are your thoughts, what are your background thoughts, like... I am cannot wait to see you guys comments on this please let me know in the comments below I will uh well I was gonna say I was trying to leave a, a copy of this in the comments but it's an actual picture that I screenshotted so I can't just copy it so yeah let me know you guys let me know what you would do in this situation and what you would tell this man in the situation so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I think these videos are gonna be fun to do on my channel just random advice videos in general like Anytime you want to send me advice, send it to my business email if you want to get, want me to do like more strawberry letters. Um, meanwhile, wh while I'm waiting for some to come in, I'm going to be looking for some that I feel like will be a good topic to speak on. And I hope I can find some that will be good and motivating. Hopefully I can find some where I can give you guys some motivation and some energizing vibes out there. So if you guys like this video, I hope you guys thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat to keep up with me in my daily life. Also, don't forget to check out my travel website. If you want to become a travel agent and join our travel squad, we are a group of women who met online. We all are travel agents. We're teaching other people how to build a business and travel and become travel agents as well. So check out that website. It's www www.sisterhoodtravel.info. It will be in the description bar below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day.